Hello everybody and welcome to another 15 e tutorial. My name is Kate and today we'll be breaking down the Electronegativity Visualization HDA and the Charge Visualization HDA. Um, in both of these, uh, they pretty much do the same thing, but they use different attributes to visualize uh, those uh, lines that you kind of see in front of you right now. So let's kind of break it down. The first thing you need to do is drop down a file SOP import your data, transform it to where you'd like to, so in this case the place of origin, and then use an atomic property SOP to generate the atomic information across the structure. The next thing you need to do is drop down either one of these nodes. Uh, they both have three outputs. One is for visualizing the overall model. And we'll wait for this to cook out. Um, so if you have it to atoms on, the atoms should appear like this. The next one is just the points, and the other ones is just the visualization lines. If you go to the charge visualization node, you'll notice that there's an animation inner and outer. Those, these allow you to animate your lines. So same here. And trail length and multiplier are just for make, deciding how long you want those lines to be on the structure. So if you wanted to go a uh, multiplier of nine, it's gonna think about it for a few seconds, and then it's gonna calculate these trails like that. The color range of these trails are based on the charge, so from negative three to four. Now if we go to electron electronegativity visualization, if we go to out visualization lines, we'll be able to see the lines of the structure. So you can see that these are a little bit different because I was fooling around and I was playing with them. So generally I like to keep my trail length lower than my multiplier, or like vice versa, depending on how I'm feeling like, or what I'm feeling like, essentially. So if I tone down the multiplier, you'll know that the lines will change again, and they might do something like that. So you, it's keeping them in a, a range that will work for you, and also, you know, overall, make your Im image look good as well. So once again, this multiplier would be way too low, so we probably want to put it back to something like four. Color range here, uh, we base this off our electron negativity values. So we need to go to our atomic properties and electron negativity for this would be 3.44 to so 3.44 and 2.55. And now those kind of color schemes will be more accurate. Now we can also go here to the overall model and take a look at everything together. So visualize both the atoms and everything else. So you'll also know the color of the atoms over here reflect the electron negativity in these color range values. So if we were to crank this up to something like seven, we should notice this color change. So these colors and these values are linked. If we go to out points, those are just the points of the overall structure. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. My name is Kate, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.